morning, good afternoon, good evening. If you're in Asia, Europe, West Coast, USA, East Coast. Hello, and this is Hedging Lee with a morning update for Bitcoin. I cleaned up I cleaned up the chart quite a bit. I wanted a little bit of a blank slate here. And also with a lot of sub waves quite often. It becomes a real mess to be able to identify all the waves. So this is a high resolution 15 minute chart. We had counted five waves here. And these five waves became the sub waves. Of what I believe to be wave A initially. And then we saw a definite three wave retracement of these five. Remember, five waves going downwards. If there are five waves downwards after the fifth wave, you still need an ABC retracement. Absolutely. No, you can. That cannot be escaped. So here we have A, B, and C. Put that up there. So we said five. A, B, C, and then we also saw five waves here. And I'm going through this again because of the tutorial that I had released on Elliott Wave 1. I'm sorry, on Elliott Wave Counting, the tutorial 1. So here's five, three, five. And in the second one, which I'll probably do na later this week. I'm going to put out Elliott Wave Counting Tutorial number two. And that'll be for corrections, the ABC corrections. And I'll go more a lot into detail on that and real live examples. I might even break that into three parts, A, B, and C because there's so much to be said on the corrections. And usually it's counting the corrections that really messes people up from the uh, beginning for the novices. So I will go into quite a bit of details and a lot more examples, real life chart based examples on how to count corrections, just like what I'm doing now. <laughs> so I'm calling this a zigzag, A, B, C. Zigzag has a has five waves, B always has three waves, and five always has five waves on a zigzag. Okay, not on a combination. You can have a combination can be very complex. You can have a WXY combined with an ABCDE triangle. Those are the ones that quite often throw people off. But I'll show you how to easily handle those, especially for beginners. So, and, and so we have an ABC zigzag. I'm going to label this, you know what? I'm going to label it big O. That's the B. So these subwaves, five subwaves, <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, are the subwaves of A to give the first five. 
this purple ABC or the subways of B to give the 3. But next find the 5 waves, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Are the subways of C. If this is ABC and this is complete, then this will go to a new all-time high. This will be a new impulse. But what I don't like about this is this one. This is too ABC-ish. ABC, three wave-ish. Okay, but if this is the bottom of the correction, Then we can say one, two, three, four, maybe one more little higher, five. And if maybe five can be up here. But I don't like this so much because wave one is not very impulsive. But this is one of the scenarios that we can look at. So after these five waves, there'll be a correction. Like this. And then it'll do another impulse up. So this is one scenario that we could take a look at. And that'll certainly be able to exceed the 7916 target. Now, let's get rid of these go to the other scenario. Other scenario calls this the A and it's saying that we are putting in the final waves of B, A, B. Let me subcount the B wave. A, B, C. Okay. If this is A, B, and this is C, what did I say about every C wave? C wave always has five waves. And this C wave is no s different. And it'll count like this. One, two, three, four, I think five is done on this C wave. So here's the thing. If this is correct, where it is A, B, C of this degree, <laughs> to about, let's say, 6,700 or so, then we should see the start of C wave down like this. So that you get A, B, C. 
Now the only thing of this that bothers me is a degree of retracement of A by B. This is a very large degree of retracement, so let's use some Fibonacci to see how much retracement has occurred. So more than 78%, so about 86-90% retracement. But it hasn't violated the ABC rule. In fact, in fact, B can go higher than A. So we can have C up here, higher than A. And that'll be called an expanded flat, which I will get into in the next tutorial. And from there, it'll be a C down below A. So that is my tertiary current. Oh, click. I need to click this first. Forgetting. But I do know one thing, whether it's from here to here or here to there, the destination will be the same. There will be no difference in the destination. Okay, now let's see how the price action d during the day transpires and we can revisit this later in the evening and if there are any some massive moves or sudden moves, I'll definitely provide a midday update. Now I did a lot of sub counts just to reinforce the tutorial that I released yesterday. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. Have a good day. And so let's use some Fibonacci to see how much retracement has occurred. So more than 78%, so about 86-90% retracement. But it hasn't violated the ABC rule. In fact, in fact, B can go higher than A. So we can have C up here, higher than A. And that'll be called an expanded flat, which I will get into in the next tutorial. And from there, it'll be a C down below A. So that is my tertiary current. Oh, click. I need to click this first forgetting. But I do know one thing, whether it's from here to here or here to there, the destination will be the same. There will be no difference in the destination.
Okay. Now let's see how the price action during the day transpires and we can revisit this later in the evening. And if there are any some massive moves or sudden moves, I'll definitely provide a midday update. Now I did a lot of sub counts just to reinforce the tutorial that I released yesterday. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. Have a good day. So this is one scenario that we could take a look at. And that'll certainly be able to exceed the 7916 target. Now, let's get rid of these. And go to the other scenario. Other scenario calls this the A. And it's saying that we are putting in the final waves of B, A, B. Let me subcount the B wave. A, B, C. Okay. If this is A, B, and this is C, what did I say about every C wave? C wave always has five waves. And this C wave is no s different. And it'll count like this. One, two, three, four, I think five is done on this C wave. So here's the thing. If this is correct, where it is A, B, C of this degree, which are about, let's say, 6,700 or so, then we should see the start of C wave down like this. So that you get A, B, C. Now the only thing of this that bothers me is a degree of retracement of A by B. This is a very large degree of retracement. So let's use some Fibonacci to see. I'm gonna label this, you know what? I'm gonna label it big O. That's the B. <laughs> so these subwaves, five subwaves, <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, are the subwaves of A to give the first five. This purple ABC are the subwaves of B to give the three. But next line of five waves, one, two, three, four, five. the subwaves of C. If this is ABC and this is complete, then this will go to a new all-time high. This will be a new impulse. But what I don't like about this is this one. This is too ABC-ish. ABC, three-wave-ish. OK? 
see? But if this is the bottom of the correction, then we can say 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe one more little higher, 5. And if maybe 5 can be up here. But I don't like this so much because wave 1 is not very impulsive. But this is one of the scenarios that we can look at. So after these five waves, there'll be a correction. Like this. And then it'll do another impulse up. So this is one scenario that we could take a look at.